Hi everybody, welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. And Viva. And we will be picking one of our bottles. Actually, you picked this one last no, week. Because because no one else got the other bottle. If you can guess what this bottle is, you get to pick the next one out of our 120 bottles. How's everybody doing? Uh, where's, um, where's the first button I need to push? The flasher. We will be taking the next 12 minutes to explore this whiskey. And the first thing we need to do, of course, is to pour something. Let's pour just a little bit so that we can add a lot of water as our first sip. That is dark. Dark enough to be bourbon. Let's add a lot of water. We'll let that cook there for a little bit. And here's a first clue at ABV. Mm, what do we think? There's 40%, 43%. Forty-six. No, uh, forty. Mm. Right, we'll we shall come back to that in a moment. It's dark enough to be a bourbon, isn't it? But we, no, I, 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 this is no, very nice. We pour this twenty minutes earlier to get a little bit of air, a little drop of water. But is it a bourbon? No, I'm the boom. Prunes, so sherry, we're in the world of sherry, right? Now, on the nose, it doesn't seem that strong. No smoke. Oh, yeah, not that strong. I'll so let's, um, 43, 45. Let's, let's go back to our glass and see, see how we're doing here. I don't know if it's gone cloudy. A bit hard to see with so much, uh, so much density in that color. Right. This is what we have. If we compare it to 43. Now these bubbles, they disappear quickly, but they are big. And I almost thought this is 61, a 61 bourbon. <laughs> you know, if you go too high, 66, it can look remarkably the same. So this is 66%. And this is 46%. And so we really weren't that sure. Yes, of it. Yeah, so we did have to trust our nose to tell us, is it 66 or is it more in the 40s? Oh, this is 40, but I also remember there was no yeah. So before we have a taste, Okay, let's do nose on full strength. Let's get you started so you can start guessing. <laughs> no beef, no smoke. Well, let's see. Because I was starting and to... definitely uh, some kind of sherry, uh, but not both, not the wine. I put it in more like uh, PX. Something sherry. like PX? It's, Better. It's heavily sherried, isn't it? Mm. But But we're not getting any of the sour... No. Vinegar notes. It's quite a sweet, winey sherry to me. I know. I put that type of food in mostly for custard prunes. <laughs> yeah, dry. it's like prune prune juice. <laughs> Alcoholic prune juice. And that stuff. It is a bit dirty, I think. It's not like Bladnock that we thought was a very clean, clean. refined sherry. This is a little bit Bit of the dirty edge about it. The farm, maybe more uh, animal farm. Bit farmy. Now you said no smoke, but I think maybe. there might be a bit of matchsticks about that. Oh yes. It's not peat smoke, but a little. You know where sulphur, a bit Highland Park or Macallan, the way they have um, that sort of matchstick sulphury smoky thing. I'm getting a uh, minty green and fit fit. There's something slightly minty green. But it's mostly sherry, isn't it? I was trying to search. If I go to the full glass. 
If I try and go past the sherry, I think it is a bit vanilla coconut underneath there. I don't, I don't know if I'm getting any spice. Yeah, but do you like what you're getting? Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, the fun is unusual. A little bit, a little bit slightly cheesy in the empty glass now. Um. Let's have a let's have a sip on the watered down one first of all. How did it go? Did it go cloudy? I don't I don't know if that went cloudy or not, did it? Hmm. Right. Okay. It's not out. It's middle soft, creamy. So that's 50% water in there. Still got quite a punch to it. And plus the, the flavors are coming through. Of water down first of fruit drink. <laughs> yeah, like a watered down fruit drink. But the, not, not sugary, more uh, earthy. It is pretty sweet though, as a, as a whiskey. Um, the flavors are still coming through though. Definitely a sort of a dirty yeah. sherry with a little bit of sulfur matchstick smoke, which I like. I'm not the first trip. Okay, what ABV do you think it is when you go full strength? Okay, let's let's leave the watery one aside oh, here. Very, very sweet, plumy. I put this at 45 mm. ABV, but I remember yesterday I thought I put a more fatty, but I'm up here. So it's, you said kind of sweet prunes. It's got a bit of punch to it. And it does have some pepperiness to it now. Mm, oh, yes. So in the 40s, I think we're going to walk through a little bit on the reveal today. So let's see what the ABV is, and then you can go and look at the spreadsheet. Oh, okay. We are in the 46s. And... Uh, it is, it's the 46. Hold on, let me just say, um, if you follow the link I just dropped in there, you can go and have a look and see the spreadsheet. But, there is no, it's citrus. But, uh, let's see, there is a lot of 46s in the spreadsheet. So, if you're on a phone, I'll give you a quick preview here. So it's 46 something. So anything from uh, from Anok, anything from Anok 24, all the way through to, uh, let's see, oh, Highland Park, Dark Origins. Now, although that's 46.8, mm, could be anything in there. So you go and busy yourselves in there. <laughs> and. Uh, we will come back to that in a bit. How are we doing? We've got four minutes to go. Uh, no citrus. No, no citrus. No now I more thick pruned. The finish is Dirty. the finish is relatively short and the bubbles don't last long, which makes me think it it's gonna be young. Maybe fifteen, eighteen. Well, fifteen to eighteen isn't young. Okay. <laughs> that would have spurf to fifteen. But not. Mm. There's a little bit of tobacco-iness about oh, it. Oh, yeah. A little bit of bitter. Actually, where's my picture? Here's what I was painting. And there's a little bit of... Um, it's not peat. I'll give it a few wisps of... of uh, sulfury sort of smoke over there. And there's a few little wisps around here of... A little, a little bit of green about it. A touch of green mintiness, maybe. Something like that. Uh, it's of, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit rowdy. It's not very refined. Oh, you know, comparison time. Um, I wanted to compare it to Macallan Classic Cut because that's that's a bit of a rowdy one. Although this is fifty-one percent. Guyana. Hang on. Macallan first. What is this? This is Macallan Classic Cut. 
I'm going to put a bit of water in. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. It's quite similar in... I mean, it's quite shouty for 46%, isn't it? Yeah, but the ABV... Oh, not far off. It's uh, not for crisp. Right. I think it's not for thicker, heavy metal. A bit more of the smoky matchsticks about the Macallan. I, I prefer I prefer this. And there's more of the caramel toffees in mm. this one now that I come back to it. Do you think, do you like it more? Oh, if I eat toffee, really nice metal. Do you prefer it? I, I prefer this. Oh, okay. Okay, one more comparison. Two minutes to go. Kriegeliki 13. Because it's stuff. It's another 46 percenter. And this is a a bit of a neck pour, but this is a sherried space side and that we like a lot and we haven't had it for a little bit. And I just wanted to see this is more of a, do you prefer it? Better or worse than? Oh, it is beautiful. It's so I I fresh. I think it's not for yeah. everyone, but it's not fat. So, it's own character. but I prefer the Craig Ellicott. Yes. So that means on the shelf, it's going to be somewhere in here. Yes, that's true. Mm. One minute to go. Uh, let's give let's give them another clue. Let's get at it. No. Let's see. Oh, it's a twelve year. Oh, we can tell you that. It's a twelve year. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not going to look. So what is heavily sherried? What about? What's Caledonia? Oh, just in time. Caledonia is a 12 year. Is that heavily sherried? Could that be a bit dirty? Altmore, foggy moss. Surely it's not that heavily sherried, is it? That 12 year. Anyway, time's up. <laughs> stop on, uh, stop on medicine, this. Let's, uh, let's go to the chat for a minute. Before we do the full reveal, get my label out of the way there. Before we I haven't even said hello to anyone today. Right. Wow, there's quite a few people in. Just just okay. let let them choose. You can give some more notes. Romans in, false graph, Lucas, Peathead, Sunday evening scotch, Moronic. <laughs> Hi everybody. Jules. Okwami, start the clock. Thanks, yes, we managed to remember. Whiskey Jason's in. Hi, Jason. Right. Uh, I'm going to jump down, miss a whole bunch of people. I see Steve A's in as well. Irwin, Zach Andrews, Graham, Fraser. Let's see if I can find some guesses. Deepa's rummaging around there. Right, where's everyone up to? Whiskey Jason. Well, we know it's 12 years old now, right? So what is the latest? Glen Alecky 12. No, Glen Alecky 12 oh, Cresme is, oh, is, is already on the shelf, so it can't be that one. Caledonia. Caledonia is a great call. Edred Hour can have a bit of funk to it. Is there a bit of funk? It's very subtle, very shy. It is a bit funky. Uh... Very subtle. Sasha, missed the beginning. So hello everybody. <laughs> Very good. Caledonia does have a bit of dirtiness to it. I support your pick. Mmm, okay. What about Ironbark? Well, that's not a 12 year old, is it? Uh, 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 well, it's a no age statement. Oh. I thought it could have been Dark Origins. Could have been. But, um,. We did, we did worry that it could be Springbank 21 port and rum, but we're kind of relieved because it does have a relatively short finish. Uh, Melissa, late to the party. Okay, heavily sherried, 12 year old, 46% and a bit dirty. Do you want another clue? 
How much would you like to pay for this? We like it more than McAllen, and that's a hundred dollars. But we'd like it less than Craig Ellicky, and that's sixty dollars. The upper pay more than about seventy-five dollar, eighty dollar. Ooh, I can tell you, we have it marked. Oops, as a ninety-dollar bottle. How much? Ninety dollars. Oh, not bad. That's pretty good. It is a Highland and can't quite read that. Hold on. Might have actually got it. It is. It is Edradour 12. I would say, I would say that's the first time I've got one in ages. Hey, <laughs> Firework. I'm claiming fireworks. Who's with me? Oh. You know, I feel slightly sad because I realise we don't have the full bottle because this was a trade with uh, Scott, Scott Y. So that's all we have oh, left. Oh no! And this bit is, here. Is that not safe? I know very early on in our whiskey journey, we got a mini of this 12 year and we tasted it and we were kind of like, oh, mm, that's a bit. And I think it was the slight funkiness that put us off. I think we were really dirty. Yeah, we were a bit scared of it and thought, yeah, we won't buy a full bottle of that. But no, it's impressive. It's very different. It's unique. I can dump up. Yeah. And so when I saw that Scott had it in his list of tradable whiskies, I thought, great, let me grab a 250 of that. And now I feel like I wish I'd bought a full bottle all along. So did I bring anything else up to compare? I did, because putting this on the shelf is going to push Redbreast off the shelf. And Redbreast 12 cask strength. It was probably my favourite in a year ago. It was very easy to drink. We haven't had this for a long time. Hang on, let me add water because it's 58% or something. Oh, 56. Let me add a little bit more. But it also comes across as heavily sherried, and so I just wanted to see, is it fairly being pushed off the shelf? Redbreast 12 cask strength. Oh, wow, that is, um, that, oh, is, it's, 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 that is pretty good. Mm, it's yummy, it's, 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 it's more, the Redbreast is more, caramelized uh, sherry, isn't it? Brown sugar and caramelized. But the finish is very vanilla. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so okay, let's I'm... go back. Let's go back to Caledonia. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, I think it's more integrated, it's more mellow. More integrated creamy. and mellow, creamy. It's also more dirty by comparison mm. as well. I think it's not, uh, I've got press, it's, um, yeah, turn it around. I'm gonna go just ahead of organic. Mm. I've realized this is our highest placing sherried whiskey so far. Oh, I see. Now I'm looking at red breast and I'm thinking I might throw out Oban 18 before Redbreast, but I haven't got it here. So we'll have to double check that after. You'll know next time when you look at the shelf. Oh, well, that's a good one. So back to the chat. Oh, no, so it was the first person who got this. Back to the chat. Is anyone claiming victory? At, at the very least, at the very least, um, someone can claim from the moment I stuck it on the mm -hmm. shelf. Right, chat. I haven't pushed any buttons yet. It was, um, it's a good from when you get. Oh, Triketa, did you, did you get it? Deeper saying Triketa might have got there. Let's see. Okwami is saying he supports by Edward Hour. <laughs> Sunday evening scotch, haven't had a Caledonia in a while. Yeah. Mm. Well, Triketa, maybe it was Triketa that got it. 
prunes on the nose. Yeah, that is uh, definitely it's dried fig and, and prunes. Fireworks, yes. No, three, great track. No, I, well, he was here first in the chat. I don't know if that means he was in the chat first or if he got it first. Hmm. I don't know if that's an older bottle, Jason. Um, because we don't have the bottle. If there's anything about this can, which was Scott's can that he gave me, nothing to indicate. So my guess this has been bought in the last year, um, but I can't honestly tell you. Tim is telling us that the whiskey shop in San Francisco has it, if we want one. I know, but we're trying not to buy anything more for a while. <laughs> Melissa! <laughs> Craig Allerkey down the shelf. Well, <laughs> that's right, because it used to be up there, Melissa, but it's only because got it, black art. it got pushed by Black Art and Bunner. You can see where we've ended up putting these. I have one regret about the Bunner Haven tasting, and that is, in the order we tasted, Bunner Haven followed a 60 point something percent strength mm. of Allinch, which is why it tasted flatter. But, you know, we always revise the shelf when you're not looking, so we will we will get it there. Macallan Fine and Rare, mm. Edward Arrows can be nasty at times. Small stills. Wow. Ooh. Well, not nasty on this one. Is there much batch variance Beautiful. on these? I don't know if there's a batch issue or not. Lewis Dean, anyone been to this distillery would love to see the small operation. Yeah, I have oh. not. Um, oh, let's see. The chat has skipped. I get, oh, I get to pick. Melissa's saying I get to pick today. Let's see, but still like, still like in the Ardbeg 10 and the J10, Lucas is saying, yeah. Oh, I see, Triketa. Okay, Triketa, why don't you pick? Please give us top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, my side, and any other descriptor. You can have center, any other descriptor that you want us to try and pick a bottle. <laughs> Nice, Triketa wow. got in before I said it. Is it more fun if we reveal along the way? I felt that was good today. You get to know the ABV early, so we rule out a lot. And then it will be ABV, age, price, region, distillery. I think we'll do that from now on. That would be, that would be fun. I've got more comment. Let's see. Uh, so hang on, I think we should give some fireworks for Triketa UK. Hey, <laughs> well done Triketa. Did you make a guess today? Um, I've got off. I'm not to well, let's just presume you guessed wrong and you get some <laughs> fireballs. Because <laughs> Deepa hasn't had any fireballs for ages. I've been getting them all. <laughs> Yeah, about $90, somewhere like that, which is quite expensive 12 year old, isn't it? Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Graham Fraser. Yes, Edward Arrow is tiny, now owned oh, by Signatory. Oh, that's interesting. The independent bottler. Uh, let's see. Teddy KGB. Have you finally watched Ralphie's review of the Blood Knock 15? <laughs> yes, Teddy. It was very funny. It was, <laughs> you could see that Ralphie immediately was just set off by the presentation with that big metal cork, stopper, that bottle. He was so annoyed with the whole thing. And I must admit, I'm on his side with that. He didn't say that he didn't like the whiskey. He, he, we're talking about the Blood Knock 15. He said it was competent, you know, it's acceptable. And he liked the 10 year old much better than the 15, which is ex bourbon, I believe. But it was funny. He was, he was so like boiling, boiling under the surface at the nonsense of the presentation. <laughs> It'll make a good infinity bottle. Uh, let's see. Triketa UK, top shelf below Deanston. Ah, okay, below Deanston. <laughs> now, do we go front row or back row? I'm going to go back row. Let's see. You better me ask back stuff I'm missing. <laughs> Is it going to be hard back? 
This is going to be number 86. And I'm just going to put try UK. <laughs> where are you in the UK? Try Keta. Um, where did I put Edward Arrow? It's, it's going to be up here somewhere. It might be better than organic. Yes, it might be. Uh, a clean glass. Let's see, what are we going to get on the new one? <laughs> what colour are we going to see? Wow, we've been hitting the dark ones recently, haven't we? We have been hitting the dark ones. They're not my bubbles. No. That's a third or fourth dark whiskey we've had in a row. Let's not touch it just yet. Could be sherry. Could be another sherry bomb. Could be bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a little more. I'm gonna have a little more of the Edradour. Yeah, prunes. It is really prune juice, isn't it? It's so beautiful. They're nothing aggressive, nothing perfect. It's a nothing star. aggressive. Well, it's a bit. It's a bit. Um, it's a bit fighty. It's not smooth. Oh, down. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's it's just um, it's got some grip to it. Actually, very powerful for 46%, I would say. Would you buy another bottle at $90? Out of my mind. Deanston or Craig Ellicke? Yeah. It's a bit pricey, but I think it is worth it if you like a bit of a dirty sherry. <laughs> right. And boomed. Sunday evening scotch. There's a whole community of Edred Arrow lovers on Facebook and elsewhere, of course called the Edradorian Knights, <laughs> noble lovers of all things Edradara and Balekin. Oh, we do have a Balekin lurking as well. Uh, the shop at Edradara is good as there are lots of signatory bottles to look at. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense if uh, they, they are now owned by signatory. I'm hoping the next bottle is a heavily peated one for Deepa. Well, it would have to be heavily sherried and peated. Triquette is close to Glasgow. Ah, but closer to Jules. Oh, Jules G U K. I see. <laughs> so my parents live. Um, no, come on, Dad. Les Mahago, Strathen. I've got family down there, south of Glasgow. Oh, uh, pick. We didn't do that, did we? <laughs> oh, no, it's not fun. Pick no, it up. I'm late. <laughs> Right, okay. What else have we got before we run away? We'll get out of here before 30 minutes. Yes, everyone thumbs up and tell your friends. Great channel. Well done, Melissa. Oh, it's the, it's in the description. Whatever that was, Lucas. Belekin is a peated Edward Arrow. Yeah, we have a Belekin. Um, let's see, it's still, it's still in the blind tasting lurking. It's a burgundy cask. Oh, falling over my chair here. We do have this guy. Oh. Waiting somewhere. Right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you over at Roy Aquavites in a few minutes. And. Oh, I forgot you right. I forgot. Until then, are we sherry or bourbon? What do you think? Can you get that again? Okay. <laughs> Cherry or bourbon? Cherry, cherry or bourbon? Yes. <laughs> it is definitely cherry or bourbon. See you next time.